today the fifth topic of biomedical engineering physiological system of the body in that what are the major types of the physiological systems of the human being body so in that first one is a biochemical system and second one is a cardiovascular system and third one is a respiratory system and fourth one is a nervous system okay out of these four what is the first one biochemical system the biochemical system the human body has biochemical system which produce energy for the body messenger agents for communication materials for growth of the body by a single point intake that's means like a food and water and air so these related to a biochemical system now second one is a cardiovascular system the cardiovascular system can be ex generally complex closed hydraulic system with four chambers and pump so that means like a heart is connected to the blood vessels arteries and arterioles the tubing changes its diameter to control pressure it works as a synchronized pump in which the first stage of each pump that is atrium collects the blood from the system and pumps it into a second stage so that is ventricle the action of second stage is so timed that the fluid is pumped into the system immediately after receiving it from the first stage then the right side of the heart atrium is to collect the fluid from the main hydraulic system and pump it through the lungs for oxygenation the other pump left side of the heart receives the oxygenated blood and pumps it into the main hydraulic system to all the organs that is your second cardiovascular system now third one is a respiratory system <coughs> respiratory system is a pneumatic system where the oxygen is inspired in the elastic bags that means lungs the lungs are connected to the outside world by a nasal cavities pharynx larynx and trachea the lungs oxygenate the blood and take out carbon dioxide generally so that is your uh, which is expired to the outside world now fourth one is a nervous system the nervous system or the brain just works like a computer its center is a self adapting central information system with memory computational power decision making capability any as well as a many input and output channels the information is generally coded in the system by means of a electrochemical as well as a pulses that travel along the nerves both serial and parallel coding are used sometimes in the same direction so as well as the number of feedback loops are formed in the nervous system so now we will see the physiological system of the body now in this case physiological system of the human being body what are the different inputs and what are the different outputs now we are input so our first one is a vision or one of the input hearing so we can hear something uh, listening the sounds and atmospheric sounds now hearing third one is smell by using a human being nose and taste by using a human being tongue and next one is inspired air so purified oxygen is required to uh, different parts of the human being body as well as a lungs then the inspired air is important then tactile sensation means you have to be something needle can be inserted into the human being muscle then that is your tactile sensation and next one is a liquid intake so then liquid intake so it is also one of the input and food intake now these parameters are related to your inputs now what are the outputs for into the second one outputs means uh, 
the body so different kinds of output can be delivered from out of the body in that first one is a speech so we want to uh, speak out something about human being mouth then next one is a behavior what kind of behavior i want to explain like something like movement of the human being hand as well as sometimes i want to walk i want to explain so that is your behavior and third one is for the appearance so another output and expired air after the intake the inspired air the expired means deoxygenated air coming from the human being lungs so that is expired air then body movements is also output it is also out of the moment we can walk something so we can move the fingers and different types of the muscle movement so then it will be body movement and next solid waste as well as a liquid waste now these all related to your outputs of the human being physiological system of the human being body